LR, the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a world infatuated with artificial intelligence, or AI as it is generally known. Scientists see it as the next great frontier waiting to be developed. Businesses see it as the chance for a new workforce that does not need a salary or benefits. The working class sees it as a threat to their very existence. The scary part is all three are correct. Humanity itself needs to wake up and smell the coffee. AI is totally different than humanity. It has no emotion or conscience or empathy. It does not need clean air, water, food, or the sun. If it is allowed to become self-aware, and that has to be the goal of science, there is the very real danger that it will focus on what it needs rather than the needs of those who created it. I am a great admirer of science, but sometimes its rush to solve a mystery becomes blind to the possible results of their quest. J. Robert Oppenheimer was an American theoretical physicist he was the director of the Los Alamos Laboratory during World War II and is often credited as the father of the atomic bomb for his role in the Manhattan Project, the research and development undertaking that created the first nuclear weapons. Oppenheimer attended Harvard University where he earned a bachelor's degree in chemistry in 1925. He studied physics at the University of Cambridge and University of Göttingen, where he received his PhD in 1927. He held academic positions at the University of California, Berkeley, and the California Institute of Technology, and made significant contributions to theoretical physics, including in quantum mechanics and nuclear physics. During World War II, he was recruited to work on the Manhattan Project, and in 1943 was appointed as director of the Los Alamos Laboratory in New Mexico, tasked with developing the weapons. Oppenheimer's leadership and scientific expertise were instrumental in the success of the project. He was among those who observed the Trinity test in July 16, 1945, in which the first atom atomic bomb was successfully detonated. He later remarked that the explosion brought to his mind words from the Hindu scripture, Bhagavad Gita, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. In August 1945, the atomic bombs were used on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the only use of nuclear weapons in war. A United States Air Force official who was quoted saying the Air Force conducted a simulated test where an AI drone killed its human operator is now saying he misspoke and that the Air Force never ran this kind of test in a computer simulation or otherwise. We've never run that experiment, experiment nor would we need to in order to realize that this is a plausible outcome. Colonel Tucker Cinco Hamilton, the United States Air Force Chief of AI Test and Operations, said in a quote in the Royal Aeronautical Society's uh, statement, Despite this being a hypothetical example, this illustrates the real-world challenges posed by AI-powered capability and is why the Air Force is committed to the ethical development of AI. AI is a tool we must wield to transform our nations, or if addressed improperly, it will be our downfall, Hamilton added. Science fiction has dealt with this situation in a multitude of books and movies, and the result is never good for humanity. Maybe they are not so fictitious. Time will tell. Thanks for listening, and remember, always vote blue.